Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, I'm Ace-8, playing as the mighty powerhouse of Liechtenstein in the Road to 56. So this is pretty much just a relaxing in gameplay playstyle, sitting back watching the world go to hell. We're staying out of things. Moments, I'm trying to expand our spy networks, try and get defense through intelligence. So that I can um, troll the Germans as much as possible using my spy network. As it stands, we do not have enough factories to actually build anything. Well, to build, build more, more upgrades. But we might be able to work around that. So yeah, expand a spy network works around that by giving us an extra operative slot. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Hmm. No, we're going to go with Sea Guide support later in the war. Once things happen elsewhere. Oop. Hey, I'd forgotten that happened. It's been a week since I last recorded. So... USSR has puppeted Finland and Sweden. Meanwhile, Britain is still at war with the Axis. Right, they haven't thrown in the tally yet. Ethiopia has been liberated from Italy. We're just going to sit back here and have a nice, nice beer. Watch everything going, going nuts. So we can get Ferdinand von Liechtenstein as our as an Austrian or Liechtensteiner operative. Hmm. Sure, why not? Where do I put? I suppose I'll leave him here on counter and set. Let's see for now. We need a lot more factories for this sort of thing. Air upgrade. That's. Very nice. A far recon even further. I mean, it's not like I've anything to use this power on. Anything I could use? Nope. That flash is bad. Doing. Let's look at this. So my kind of my goal here is basically to just build up enough of a surplus of infantry equipment and support equipment that I can fund resistance units across across occupied aid Europe. Now, it would be easier if I could act, if I had the factories to do all this, but I don't. Let's see, where is it? I could have sworn it was somewhere. Banded spy networks means operations are cheaper and less risky. So I don't need that. Let's see. Let's strengthen some resistance in. Risky. Hmm. I get a chance if once I get five factories, I'm gonna go for commando train. Commandos are better at that sort of thing. I really need a silent workhorse now. I could actually go with the an elusive gentleman for another spy slot. Sure, let's see what this works. 
This is so ludicrous. Build a couple of rail of these. Then build as many of the uh, of these forts to make it make the German really regret any attempt to put this. And this factory here is just so I can get our building trucks. I don't need them, but maybe I could export them for some extra. Hmm, speaking of which. See if I can actually sell any crane. Not. I realize that putting a quiet network means we actually maintain the network and we're far less likely to actually get detected. I've done that ages ago. I. He makes it probably helps with um I think I reach write this in the in the game before. I should have trying to increase the resistance. Already about thirty one percent. Another ten percent would help. Basically, I am just going to troll the Germans here. Oh, the UK the UK has declared war on the Workers' Republic of Iceland. Or in the common terms, now. Oh, God. you idiots. We'll see what happens when that, ha that comes around. I want to do here. Fair why not? It's not like we really need the fuel, but you know, use it to at least produce some some rubber. So Norway is or with. Well, this is this has gone very weird. I'm gonna start researching planes. Probably not gonna use them or need them, but and our first operative has been kidnapped. There's that would operate the. Uh, Operation to rescue him is under is being planned, while the resistance in Poznan is being strengthened. The thing I'd really love to see is um, this probably won't happen later, but I'd love to see a mod where or something where after say Germany's fault and the U.S. and the Comintern allies are. Still at war with each the other, they could just say, Right, I think we'll just take a break for now. We'll declare a truce or a ceasefire or whatever. It looks like Albania has lost um, Vlor. I'll just have mispronounced that to England. Egypt is. The allies are still in the holding here because the Italians have no supply, have no supply coming out from Tobruk. 
or almost none anyway. Oh, and they have severe attrition there. Let's just stop um, exercising and see what Books now after this um after this is done build an actually build three recall liquefaction pontoon bridges brigade sorry railway guns Building at least an military factory. Gives us railway guns, basically a giant cannon on, on the back of a railway carriage. I suppose we might have some use around here. They have attrition because of this lousy terrain and weather here. Do we have any? Yep, we have some because we're exercising and of our infantry of our military high command uses this their academy scholarships like I'm just filling this out because I have nothing else to do with this guy for advance I think So as I'm recording this today, I have a few, I recorded a few videos earlier of playing as um, El Salvador taking over Central America. And we actually started pushing into Mexico there. A bit of fun doing that. If you have any suggestions for what else I should do, feel free to put them in, feel free to put, put them in the comments here. We just got our spy back. I think I'll just build up this network a little further. Oh, that'll actually reassign him. Huh. Interesting. Unexpected, but interesting. So, do infiltrate their army. Yes, they do. The reason I have this guy doing all the actually holding the network here is he's German. Has German nationality, so he's gonna be harder to spot. Injured, well yeah, it didn't quite go the way we had planned, but what can you do? Anything I've got to use these factories on. Right, we now have our railway guns. 
the look of the Liechtenstein Military Academy. Make our land doctrines cheaper and give some extra XP. We can actually use a and assign a Mayo to them to make them cheaper. Am I actually likely to use these these planes? Probably not. If I could use that, if I could actually license the designs out of the guy. UK has declared war in Iraq. So are they going to join? Probably the Axis. Right, do I want to go with deep infiltration or strengthened militia? So leg infantry have extra defense and HP. Or less supply consumption, greater intelligence gain. Both soft attack even. So recruitable population. Probably need more of that. Recon, extra equipment capture, breakthrough and soft attack. Probably this because it'll buff these and the recruitable population. We're probably going to need that. So I rather stupidly took this guy off why his Intel network. So now we've we don't have a hundred percent of network in this in Germany. But we will be able to get there. I do have a modern soul which makes the ports much larger on the map, so you can actually tell, oh yeah, at a glance, yeah, this area is heavily fortified. But on the Maginot line. I could possibly create militia. From digging through the mod source files, basically the only thing they bring is that they are cheap and quick to build. 30 days. I think the comments in the mod say, Great, grab a few friends. Bring your own gun. Yeah, I'm not in any hurry to use that. Unless I need to. I have no idea what the design team assign cost does. Does that mean I... Assign a mile quicker or assign a policy to it quicker. That's a uh, about for us. Let's find out what the what this design thing actually does. Especially since it'll increase their level. Now See. Supply Alpine specialization. I mean, we're a mountainous country, aren't we?
I'm honestly not expecting to get anything out of these. Basically, I'm going with this because it'll buff my fighters. If I ever get them. So, design team cost doesn't actually this. Or am I looking at something? Else? Oh, it means changing this. Use to me. So basically, it would be cheaper if I hadn't got them already. Like, oh, is that useful to me? Right now, put this guy on quiet. These guys are all going to be reassigned. That's okay because I can put them to work initially. And perhaps leave one of them on. And counterintelligence here. Then once I've got the got the network here at 100 percent put one of them on quiet and then start raising hell. Well now Germany's declared war on the USSR. Now we have a three-way war across Europe. Question is who do I dislike the least? Brack Bell, big surprise there. I think I think just a harder to get even more intel out of our networks. So Thailand is just prepared war with the British Raj. And since they're in the Greater East Asian Co Parity Sphere, that means Japan will probably be getting involved in that too. Yes, they are. Yeah. US up to. Yep, same old, same old. We now have six spies in the spy map. Ludicrous. All the funnier. I think I'm going to leave this episode here for now. This has been just very relaxing, just watching the world go to hell. We're staying out of it. See how long that lasts. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.